1 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Salman Tahir. First, the headlines. Prime Minister has reaffirmed Pakistan's strong commitment to strengthen national HIV response in unison with global community. Deputy Prime Minister has termed cultural diplomacy vital for promotion of relations with various countries. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, occupation troops and their unabated acts of state terrorism martyred nine Kashmiris last month. First T20 match of three match series between Pakistan and Zimbabwe will be played in Bulawayo today. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Mohammad Shahbaz Sharif says Pakistan stands united with the global community in reaffirming its firm commitment to strengthen the national HIV response. In his message on World's Aid Day today, he said, Upholding the United Nations Declaration on Human Rights and promoting the inclusion of all communities are essential for eradicating AIDS as a public health threat. The Prime Minister said the HIV epidemic in Pakistan continues to grow, which underscores the need for bold, innovative and sustainable interventions. He said a future free from AIDS can only be achieved through collective action that upholds human dignity, equity and inclusion. Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister Ishaq Dar has termed the cultural diplomacy vital for promotion of relations with various countries. Addressing the ceremony of annual charity bazaar organized by the Pakistan Foreign Office Women's Association in Islamabad today, he said the aim of this event is to contribute in the welfare of poor segments of society. Ishaq Dar highlighted that the PFOWA's charity bazaar will also promote better understanding of social, cultural and economic life of Pakistan, terming the Bazaar's theme, Joining Hands, Joining Hearts, as beautiful, he said such events are important in bringing the various cultures close to each other. Cultural stalls from various foreign embassies were also displayed at the event. Deputy Prime Minister Ishaq Dar will leave for Iran tomorrow to attend 28th meeting of Council of Ministers of Economic Cooperation Organization. In his address at the meeting, the Deputy Prime Minister will reiterate Pakistan's commitment to ECO Charter and highlight potential of greater connectivity in region through development of rail and road networks, liberalization of visa regimes and simplification of border procedures. Ishaq Dar will also re reiterate Pakistan's concerns over hostilities in the Middle East endangering the regional peace and security. He will sign the Charter of for ECO Clean Energy Centre. The Deputy Prime Minister will hold meetings with participating ministers and other dignitaries on the sidelines of the ministerial meeting. The government has revised pet prices of petroleum products for the next fortnight. According to a press release for Finance Division, price of petrol has been raised by 3.72 rupees per litre, while high-speed diesel has seen an increase of 3.29 rupees per litre. After the raise, the new price of petrol is 252.10 rupees, while that of high-speed diesel is 258.43 rupees. Conversely, the price of kerosene oil has been reduced by 0.62 rupees per litre, which is now priced at 164.98 rupees and price of light diesel oil has decreased by 0.48 rupees per litre, lowering it to rupees 151.73. The new prices have become effective from today. The changes made in the prices of petroleum products reflect global trends in oil prices. In Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir, occupation troops and their unabated acts of state terrorism martyred nine Kashmiris last month. According to Kashmir Media Service, four of those martyred were victims of fake encounters and custodial killings. The UN World Food Programme says all the bakeries in central Gaza have been forced to shut down due to severe supply shortages amid Israel's ongoing genocidal war on Gaza. 
The WFP said on social media platform X that bread is now slipping out of reach for re- residents. The UN organization warned that famine remains a serious risk for people in Gaza, urging the safe and secure access of vital humanitarian aid into besieged enclave. Forty more Palestinians have been martyred in a single air raid by Israeli forces on the Javalia refugee camp in northern Gaza. Israel's genocide in Gaza has martyred over 44,300 Palestinians since October last year. In Syria, the government forces have withdrawn from the Aleppo city following an offensive by rebels opposed to the rule of President Bashar al-Assad. According to the UK-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights, more than 300 people, including at least 20 civilians, have been killed since the offensive began on Wednesday. First T20 match of three-match series between Pakistan and Zimbabwe will be played in Bulawayo today. The match will start at 4 in the evening. And that is the end of the news. For more news and analyses, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streamings of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash radio pakistan news official